Um, hi everyone, and hi Ophili, uh, this is Per Zenstrom. Um, I thought I'd answer your questions straight on camera. Uh, it's a little bit easier and faster actually than to write everything down, so I th it's kind of like an experiment. And for everybody else, this is kind of like a screen, re screen recording of some questions or some answers to some questions. And Ophili from Canada, she wrote me and asked me a couple of questions. Um, so let's get straight to it. Just need to. Um, what was I doing before becoming a photographer? And do I have early photo work that's not on my website, but can be found on any other website uh, other than mine? Um, before I became a photographer, I was going to school studying uh, photography. Um, at two schools actually. Um, actually, not really. I was in university uh, for one year, uh, something completely different. I dropped out and then I sort of did my military service and then I um, became an assistant photographer for, for two years before I got into um, university and I studied photography there for two years. And then I dropped out again to become an assistant and um, so I wasn't really doing very much uh, before I kind of like became a photographer. Well, that, that's not really true because um, after being an assistant for quite some time, I kind of like ended up in New York and uh, was working there as an assistant again and trying to become a photographer there. I wasn't really succeeding. Uh, I was working with some Swedish clients of mine but I wasn't really working with, you know, international clients. Uh, you know, that was my kind of like goal to become an international fashion photographer. And um, after a while in New York, not getting anywhere, I realized I had to move. So I sort of like ended up in Paris. And um, very, very quickly, um, I kind of like just landed basically and I got an agent and I became a photographer. Um, so. Again, to answer your question, uh, what did I do? What did I do before becoming a photographer? I was assisting and going to school, basically. Um, and are there any other images uh, of mine uh, out there? Uh, you know, no, not really. Unfortunately, um, you know, the images I took before becoming a photographer, I was very sort of like influenced by street, you know, classic uh, street photography a la Cartier-Bresson, André Cartes and that kind of stuff. And all that kind of stuff only exists as prints in, in my archive. So there's no, it's not visible online anywhere. Sorry about that. Um, have I completed any post-secondary education other than the School of Photography at Göteborg University? No, I haven't. And again, I actually didn't finish that, uh, that, that uh, my, my education there. I dropped out because I got this offer that I couldn't, re that, you know, I couldn't refuse this offer. It was too, too, god, too good of an offer to, to say no to. Um, what did I like most or dislike the most at school? Uh, well, the thing that kind of like stuck in my mind about going to school, art school, I mean, I'm not specifically talking about photo school here, I think it's the same for anything really, um, is that we were always sitting around talking about photography in our case, you know, it would be like these endless nights in the school cafeteria drinking coffee and or then, you know, being in a dark room printing, printing and endless discussions and arguments over photography and that's not something you ever ever gonna have you know that's never ever gonna happen to you again once you're out of school you will never have that sort of environment so if there's one thing I want you to take away from going to art school is like take you know that you know take care of those moments because they will never ever happen again and try to make the most out of you know out of that important um, what do I like most from uh, my career as a photographer? Um, I like the fact that I never felt that I was going to work. I always, I never felt like, oh, I gotta go to work now, or well, maybe once or twice, but not really, you know, I, it's not really work for me. It's kind of like who I am, what I am, and I think that's, you know, 
as a photographer or as, a, or as anybody else who has kind of like chosen your your passion is your profession I mean we're very very fortunate to be able to to you know to not feel like we go to work you know it's just something you do anyway it's something that defines you and um, I like that about being a photographer it's um, yeah interesting experiences um, and difficult moments uh, well right now for example I mean the changes which are happening now and has been happening for the you know the past five six seven years maybe um, the upheaval of everything you know the fact that nobody really knows anything about anything anymore I think everybody's operating without really knowing what's happening uh, that is very very difficult for for photographers and for anybody I, I think a lot of people are sort of like fumbling in the dark right now and we there's no real operational models for how things are supposed to work so uh, what does that okay that's kind of like half the answers so what does that mean well it means that I think um, anybody needs to there's something called the lean startup movement and the st lean startup mythology and that means very very short that you need to be very very quick you need to learn build test ship and then the cycle again you know constant learning about what's working what's not working send it out test it see what's happening get the feedback back and then you you know you change what's not working or you scale up what's working and um, as a photographer or as any other creative you have to do that too it's not just startups that, that have to do that we creatives we have to kind of like operate in the same the sign with the same mindset you know we need to be respectful of data we need to be able to collect uh, you know feedback to see what's working and um, and uh, not operate under assumptions we need to um, okay this sounds terribly boring you know what about gut feeling and like sort of like emotional instincts and all that kind of stuff well I think actually you can have both you can have you know I think you can still be emotional and being creative and also take advantage of the data and the digital tools we have at our disposal today for example what I'm doing right now I'm recording a screencast and I'm you know using this as instead of sending an email you know it's faster it takes less time and I get more said and I think it's <clears throat> it's maybe even more interesting for people to see um, uh, without being too intrusive do I um, live on photography alone or are there are other side incomes well <clears throat> I am a photographer and I can like make my living off of photography and you know also stock photography and having my a my images representative by li image licensing agencies uh, but there are also you know I'm experimenting with other things as well I'm experimenting with um, sort of like putting together a network of people around me and you know having some sort of creative bureau here in Berlin and trying to do work for for people for creatives who it's not necessarily based on photography or visual things you know I'm, I'm, I'm terribly interested in in di digital culture and web technology and technology in general and I try to use that uh, 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 in work which is not necessarily visual or photography related so that that's kind of like something which is new for me and I'm I'm very excited about it and we'll see what happens you know I'm not really sure um, am I represented by a gallery as an artist no I'm not I consider myself I don't consider myself an artist I consider just consider myself maybe a, a commercial artist I think that a lot you know most of the things today which are interesting which has an impact which are which are you know cool to look at are not being done by artists really but like people who can sort of like leverage even you know uh, develop partnership with commercial actors you know develop uh, you know partnership with brands and stuff like that um, I don't um, being an artist you know just for art's sake it's 
seems a little bit boring to me. I, I like the idea of being right here in the middle of technology, media, street culture, commercial interests, money, what have you. As a photographer, you you're you're right in the middle of everything, and I I, I really like you know I really like being right in the middle of in that space. Um, do I work with a team? Yes, I do. Uh, as a photographer, uh, as a fashion photographer, that is, uh, it's you cannot work alone. You need to have a team around you. Stylists, hair and makeup, assistants. Maybe you're doing video. Um, yeah. Uh, do I have a favorite photographer and and the, or any other person that I admire for his or her work? Yes, of course. Uh, I can never get away from Erwin Penn and his, his influences on me. Uh, I kind of like consider myself a classic photographer, and his. Um, I mean, I still look at his images today. I, it's, it's just, just, big, it's just it's got to be Erwin Penn. Um, um, of so there's I hope this um, helped. I hope this was interesting, and uh, thank you very much.